Hey there. All right, so we have three different areas that are going to focus around uh, social responsibility, ethics, and, and how you're interacting with your customers in, in a transparent manner. And so uh, on, on this side, we, we call this the, the pyramid of social responsibility. It's really kind of more of a square, but I want to make sure it matches with anything else that you're, you're reading, any supplemental material. So it's called the pyramid. You have four different areas, and you have economic, legal, and ethical. And then you have philanthropic. And in reality, I'd like you to look at economic, legal, and ethical as you must do this. And philanthropic, it's a choice. All right, so it's, it's suggested and it, it is a way to contribute to the overall impact of your company on the environment. Uh, but of course, you're not going to be rewarded for philanthropy if you go out of business. And so you have to make sure that you're covering the other aspects first before you go into philanthropy. So economic. This is considering the shareholders and the stakeholders. This is, this is everybody involved. Are you going to make sure that you run your company with a long-term vision so that it focuses on the future? Uh, and it'll be around 10 years, 20 years, 30 years from now. And if you're going to run it in a socially responsible manner, then you're considering the next generation and making sure that you are around for the long term. So. Uh, this is, in essence, this is a trade-off between short-term uh, benefits versus long-term benefits. Uh, legal, and obviously, you need to obey the laws. That's, that's, uh, you're, you're going to ruin your reputation if you don't, but they tend to be very difficult to navigate, and so you have to make sure that somebody is in charge of interpreting the laws and, and, and has oversight for the overall company. Ethical, uh, we, we all have acceptable conduct uh, that has to be that, that has to be adhered to, but of course this this instills trust between you and your stakeholders, you and your customers, and, and the whole works. And so, in essence, this is really the the explanation of the pyramid of social responsibility. What I'd like you to remember on this one is the E L and E, the economic, legal, and ethical. Those are the most important. You want to get to the point where you can be philanthropic, all right? But you want to make sure that you take care of the first three first. Over here in the middle. Where we're going with this one is, what are the challenges of being ethical? And so if you have a strategy book, this is, uh, this is chapter eight. Um, what are the challenges of being, being ethical? Well, honestly, uh, obviously, honesty, trust, and respect. That is what our goal is. Uh, if you're going to run a company that doesn't have this basic tenet, this basic foundation of honesty, uh, trust, and respect, then just don't do it. Because uh, what's gonna happen is, is Every industry is a small industry, all right? So people are gonna come back, people are gonna remember you. And, and, and in essence, you're, you're shutting the door on any kind of future relationships with anybody if you don't deal in these three areas, honesty, trust, and respect. Just do what you say you're gonna do, okay? And this is, this is all, all the way down across the board. Quality, advertising, pricing, sales techniques, hiring, privacy, all of this, the customers are expecting this out of you, your vendors, your trade partners are expecting this out of you. So just do it. One suggestion is that if you are if you're watching this and you're in undergraduate level, you're very undergraduate in college, form this now. Form this before you have a mortgage. Form this before you actually have multiple bills you have to pay, and then you have this, this consideration, this ethical dilemma that says, I really need my job. And is this really unethical? So form the basis now so that you have a strong foundation when uh, things are gonna be a little bit tougher to, uh, to, to have some kind of ideals that you fall back on. And then over here on this side, what is the relationship between ethics, strategic planning, and organizational performance? What I want you to remember on this one is, really this is ethics, strategic planning, and organizational, it, it, there's an overall climate in, in a company, and, and you always hear that you know the fish thinks from the head first. That's absolutely true. Your your CEO is your your chief culture officer, and if, as long as they're ethical, then everybody else needs to follow suit. And so it's an overall climate. This is an area where all stakeholders are considered. Stakeholders meaning your vendors, your customers, your employees, the whole works. What happens when you have this kind of an overall climate is that actually you create value. You're creating value that could be different than your competitors and you're creating value and you're, you're, you're placing shareholder value into your company. Um, and then, you know, a, a term I'd like you to remember, this is a total stakeholder orientation. Remember stakeholder, 
invol in, in, involves shareholders, but it's all the rest of them. So anybody who has a stake in the company, as opposed to shares in the company. So stake can be anybody. It could be your vendors, your employees, and the whole works. And so it's an, an overall orientation around everybody who's involved in your company. So, so here it's overall climate. So just to summarize, the pyramid of social responsibility, economic, legal, ethical, and if you can get to it, philanthropic, the challenges of being ethical, honesty, trust, and respect, and of course, all areas of business, and how do you factor them in, and then of course, the relationship between ethics, planning, and organizational performance, it's an overall climate that adds to your stakeholder orientation and stakeholder value. I will talk to you later.